Is history a plumbus? Let's find out. This is an Instagram post I made, so I'll just take you through the 10 images. A plumbus from the TV show Rick and Morty is an object with no function. Its features are suggestive, but ultimately purposeless and somewhat arbitrary. Here we have the Dinglebop, Grotus, Flube, Chumble, and Grumbo. Are many historical sites and artifacts like this, with plenty of deliberately confusing features and juicy details in endless varieties, which never served a legitimate purpose? So, I mean, look, look at this and, and tell me this was used for something. These weird little nonsensical divots and just a, a shit show, basically. So, the idea is this, this site and or this rock and this site and history basically are analogous to a plumbus. What if the reason our past seems so enigmatic and difficult to make sense of is because it was expressly designed to be that way, maximized for inexplicability? Here we have the sacred nipple hats at Easter Island, the secret entrance to Cheese Dick City in Petra, Obviously never used for anything. The doorway with these very cheesy little ornaments and I don't know what you'd call that decor. It's just cheese basically and to my eye. Anyways, um, here this place in India, all kinds of caves and uh, it's like a, a mishmash of artificial and natural caves. So we have these square holes everywhere. There's lines through the concrete, inexplicable, it's not really there for any purpose. And then, of course, this structure, they just wanted to build it right into the rock. Makes sense to me. Stonehenge, Machu Picchu. Are these places just a big fat nothing burger? More akin to theatrical props than legitimate sites? Perhaps even built as fake ruins? with false indications of wear and damage. So Stonehenge, and then we see the, the knobs <laughs> on, top, on top of the, I don't know what these thing pillars or uh, hinges. <laughs> these, um, I don't know, what, whatever they're called. They have these uh, silly knobs, which are meant to make us, I don't, I don't know, I can't quite explain exactly the purpose of the purposeless plumbus features. I'm sure it's slightly complicated, but I can tell you it's made to... They're put there somehow deceptively, I think. Anyways, Machu Picchu, this little knob here. This is the Inahuita stone. It has its own name and it's... It's a feature of Machu Picchu, and Machu Picchu is so weird. Like, just go look at all the pictures on Google, and you'll see tons of stuff like this, like the bed, the bedrock and weird blocks and weird shapes just twisting. And, um, and I would add to this uh, that it's possible that stages of repair and reconstruction are staged as well or false in some sense. So are we looking at multiple stages of construction here? Or are we looking at one project with multiple different styles that are deceptively trying to make it look like multiple different eras? It would appear that someone with very advanced technology went around leaving absurd and misleading patterns in the stone. Samipata Bolivia, this is like similar to a quarry with all the chunks taken out of it, but you also have these tracks with weird patterns etched next to it and uh, circular tracks or what looks like some kind of track or something and very weird like false doors and windows and just very strange, uh, strange patterns there. This is an image from Wise Up channel. Not quite sure where this is, but I'm suggesting that this is just a another nothing burger or 
uh, <laughs> a, a dummy feature or a plumbus feature. Same thing here, Sahasralinga in, I think, India. Uh, yeah, and you see all kinds of varieties of this strange pattern. Just this whole river is full of these uh, thingamajigs and stone cows and just weird gibberish. This is Ponza in Italy. You've got this cave up here, like 10 feet above the water. These caves down here at water level. Uh, I mean, I know water level changes, but for some reason I'm just not buying it. Largely because it's just such a project to cut that much stone. And this is in Saudi Arabia. Uh, a whole bunch of these weird, like, partial buildings or facades just nonsensically uh, slapped onto the side of these big boulders. Plumbusly. Uh, someone went around leaving patterns in the stone and covering the earth with glyphs of all kinds in phony contrived cultural themes all amounting to nothing but a silly mass of mostly unintelligible gibberish breadcrumbs leading nowhere, dead-end lines of inquiry, but all skillfully and carefully crafted in an integrated way so that the puzzle pieces look like they just might fit, even though they don't. This is the Dendera Temple in Egypt, a slightly famous light bulb image or hieroglyph, and everyone's puzzling over, oh my gosh, what is it? Is it ancient high technology? Are they... Is it a lost civilization's like, like laser weapon or something like this? And when you give it a closer look, you just see so much nonsense going on. You see this frog head guy with a tail, with two, two knives, just in arbitrary details, just two knives, throw them in there. Uh, this thing that looks like it could be a snake or a cane, I think it's probably a snake. Um, and then this flower light bulb thing. And then this thing, which resembles part of the Great Pyramid, and like the center of it with two arms randomly coming out and this guy with a ball on his head. So it's just a, a silly something to puzzle over, I think. This one, I'm not quite sure where that is, somewhere in South America maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that, no, I don't remember. Then this is the Nazca lines or geoglyphs and it's just rocks arranged, which anybody can do. Um, it's just the, the scale of it and then the similarities to other stuff around the world and just seeing if it fits into this picture of plumbus features, like nonsense stuff. What if much of our ancient art and architecture was made by a trickster? It's as if high knowledge was melded with primitive aesthetics into an impressive yet incongruent scramble. The styles certainly wow but also bewilder and disorient. So let's check these out real quick. Uh, forget where this is, India or China, somewhere. Nimrut, Turkey, just animal-headed people and animals. Uh, the Sphinx, obvious goofball thing. Uh, like the Mayan and Olmec aesthetic is very strange. This like strange dog dinosaur thing with a knob butt. This weird fat alien thing, this 600 BC Greek sculpture with wings and weird tits and just weird shit, Olmec head, uh, this thing I think is in Sulawesi, Ethiopia or something like that, and you see the hand placement like very similar to what we see on the Easter Island figures and a lot of different cultures. Um, I think this is the Elora Caves, or nearby in, I believe, India. I can't remember all these specific sites, forgive me. But um, just the monkeys, on, or the gorillas on top, and all the ornate wowness of it, which is kind of silly when you take it all in and look at it in context of all this other stuff. And this is, oh, I can't remember the name of this site, but it's in Egypt, pretty famous site. Could it even be true that many indications of construction work are staged? 
Are many tool marks and drill holes fraudulently planted or superficially applied in a deceptive manner? Are entire sites and quarries a hoax? Tools to reinforce a false narrative? What if ultra high tech was cleverly used to create marks which look like they were made with lower or intermediate level tech? So let's look at these. Baalbeck. Um, I don't have time to get into the detail of all these individual sites right now and all their idiosyncrasies and how it how this might actually be wrong but because I'm trying to keep this video short but Baalbeck just let's keep it on the table that it might be a staged quarry you know the stone of the pregnant woman and all that stuff this obelisk at Aswan in Egypt with these tool marks which can be made by hand uh, just grinding stones together but it's uh, just kind of just based on hunch. It's just falls under the category of kind of nonsense or one more breadcrumb to chase, something like that. Uh, Abu Sir in Egypt. We've got a lot of these. These two images are both from Abu Sir. A lot of very strange drill hole patterns, which I'm saying are just completely arbitrary, or not completely because they they have to look like they could have been purposeful and meaningful and uh, they have to have a certain effect so they can't be completely arbitrarily shaped and configured. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that effect is but I'm fairly confident at least in, in throwing this out there that these are total nonsense parades or I don't know you know what I mean. Petra just throwing this out there that these might be fake tool marks kind of said that already in my previous videos um, and these uh, high precision what look like saw blade marks I'm not saying it wasn't done by an actual saw blade it might have been or something similar but that device may have been used or employed for the purposes of deception rather than legitimate construction work so I'm envision envisioning like a, a very multifaceted implementation process for this, this whole agenda. So they have basically every construction technique you can imagine at their disposal. Um, so, I mean, maybe these are made with primitive tools, but like it's why they were made. That's the, the enigma, but... In regards to the enigma, let's read this. Our organic past may have been replaced with an artificial imposter past, a cheap cardboard facade, thus hijacking our sense of context and ensnaring us in an unsolvable mystery. What is the answer to the mystery of history? Mystery itself. A mystery set up like a labyrinthine doghouse for humans to live in and get lost in. A never-ending pop-up book of misshapen dildos. Behold, <laughs> the illustrious and venerable Plumbus of history. So this, this sentence right here, a never-ending pop-up book of misshapen dildos, that applies to a lot of things, I think. Like, basically all conspiracy theory topics like, uh, like fake events and all kinds of weird, uh, whatever. Last image, hmm, okay, maybe some of this is true, maybe not, but who would have done all this, and how exactly, and why, and I don't know, I really don't know. It's not really clear at this point, all we can do is guess and brainstorm. Obviously these ideas raise many questions, and there's much more to the story than can be discussed here. I'm pretty sure the answer is long and complicated anyway. Plumbus says, okay, gotta run, folks. I've got goobs to floon. And then the link to this is in the description. So if you want to share this Instagram post or this video, either one, uh, that would be cool. Or just create your own similar video or content because uh, not a lot of people are talking about this right now. Um, and just get the info out there one way or, or another. Uh, yeah, some more plumbus rocks up here with nonsense features. 
Um, okay. And then also I have a, a Facebook post uh, with a link in the description and you can share that one as well. It's basically the same as this post, but uh, just a couple more images and slightly different if you prefer sharing a Facebook link. Here's the Instagram post, blah, blah. And then here is the Facebook post. So I won't read you this because it's basically the same as all the other stuff in the Instagram post, but I'll just shuffle through these images real quick. A couple quick comments. Most of this stuff I already showed. Some lines at Robinus Palace, weird shit. Stonehenge, nothing burger. A lot of the markings on the stones, I would argue, are like a, these might be either fake stones or falsely formed natural stone. You got weird holes and very weird uh, gouges out of them and stuff like that. Uh, this one, very strange arch thing and plopped in the middle of this rock, purposeless, like a plumbus feature. The trilithon blocks at Baalbek, I would suggest that maybe those are there purely for Enigma purposes. This, I can't remember where this is, but it's like just kind of melty looking stone, which is, it's hard to explain how it got that way. Somewhere in Peru, I forget, but very strange blocks. Samipata, weird circular bullshit and blah, blah, blah. Japan has a lot of weird stuff. This plumbus block, this plumbus obelisk thing. These plumbus rock, a lot of weird um, gibberishy holes and little arches and just little arbitrary patterns. Uh, Petra, got the differing amounts of erosion destroyed on this side, not this side. And maybe the, the damage and wear and repair and stages of reconstruction are all artificially constructed. Sphinxy, weird. Sphinx, so maybe this is just another rabbit hole to chase. Like it, this looks like it could be something like a, a lever that opens a secret passageway or something. But in reality, the Sphinx may be just a, a big pile of, of uh, plumbus. How we expect the Sphinx to look, how it actually looks. And it's very cartoony, the Sphinx. Uh, so this was a painting famously restored in the last 10 or 20 years, I think. And Jesus painting, and they restored it to this. <laughs> so I think that's kind of what's going on with history. It's like a, a constant uh, ebb and flow of you feed in this beautiful aesthetic and then you ruin it and then you reintroduce it and then re-ruin it. And like you, you cartoonize real shit and you realize cartoon shit. And I think it's a big uh, something. Here's a plumbus block. I think this is the Great Pyramid. It's one of the Giza pyramids, I know that. So I think it's the Great Pyramid and you've got this plumbus block that uh, basically could never have been a legitimate block. So I think this is one of their clues they leave us and then just a random divot out there. And with the passageways, um, like all these, all these features and uh, interesting aspects of the pyramid and any historical site for that matter are basically built into these structures possibly to make us not just us now but humans who were living at the time these were built so i'm not saying this was just done for people in the future which would be us now i'm saying it was done for the people in the past and us and probably it's been changed many times, maybe, I don't know. But anyways, the shafts and the chambers, like the diameter and the style and all the different details are basically used as 
rabbit holes to chase or like you might have one shaft which a human can fit in and another shaft which a human can't fit in and then oh and also you build you build in all these mathematical proportions and all that and then uh, it basically sets up this big huge mystery that can't be solved another one at Saudi Arabia uh, I think Al Nasla or the surrounding area and just silly goofy stuff this one from the New Earth channel just staircases leading off to the side and make these stairs longer and these ones shorter and all, all just variations on gibberish these patterns in Jordan kind of strange and this is the pipestone walls in Montana and see these vertical straight uh, sutures or fissures or cracks or whatever uh, I think this is one of those things that's like an in interpolation between natural and artificial like it almost looks like stacked blocks like see how this right here is semi megalithic like you see in Peru and all that uh, but it's also very natural looking so it's basically a plumbus perhaps um, Machu Picchu architecture as well uh, that's a whole nother 10 hour conversation but um, just if you look carefully at the patterns and all the, the people and it's just a big detail fest uh, an orgy of details to that you could study for a lifetime and still never figure it out because it's designed to not be figure outable this is Paratallada in Spain and the stone intermingled with the street in a weird flowy plumbusy way of uh, Scotland I think the island of uh, Lewis and Harris one of those and the the lines and also the a lot of these astronomically aligned um, thingamajigs I forget what they're called I think they're basically plumbuses yeah the Machair is a plumbus this is another one of Ponza see the caves and all the weirdness and it's not a great picture but the the lines along the side too uh, and this cat is confused about the whole situation. All right, uh, more coming soon. Thanks for watching.